Welcome everyone to another episode of The Average Desi Joe, bringing you tips, tricks and reviews. And today we are going to be talking about the Bamboo Labs P1S 3D printer. <clears throat> Just to give you an overview, I've had it up for uh, about a couple of months. Uh, and I just thought it will be a good idea to give everybody a just a, give a quick overview on this printer, uh, my thoughts around it. I'll also have another video showing the pros and cons of, of having this printer. Um, but anyways, so just starting out, this thing, there's basically four different versions of this printer. There's the X1C, which is the higher end. The P1S is the second. There's another older version of this P1P, and then the one that I really liked, but they don't have it anymore, is the A1. Uh, now, not the A1 Mini, but the actual, there's an A1 that's a regular size. They say it's going to come out. I've actually used that, and I've loved it. But anyways, coming back to the P1S. So, this thing is, is again, it's like a box. Uh, it's like a metal box. Uh, it is about, let's see, it is about uh 18 and a half inches in height and it is about let's see about 15 inches in width so it's 18 by 15 and let's say in terms of the depth we're looking at another 15 inches so this is a a, a big a big piece of uh, hardware uh this is a big printer it also comes with this ems uh -huh. On, and what all that means, it's, it's this stands for Automatic Machine Systems, uh, which is quite bizarre. Uh, <laughs> I thought it would be something a little bit more uh, technical, higher end, but it's actually all it says, it's an automatic machine systems. And all it does is it, uh, it basically loads different colors of PLA that you can use. And, and in my opinion, uh, if you only need to buy this if you are doing a lot of multicolored prints. Uh, you have some kind of an Etsy shop or something that's set up that does require you to use different colors. Otherwise, if you're beginning starting out, you honestly don't need this. This is actually creates a little bit more of headaches, which I'll explain in my other video. Uh, but anyways, uh, so this actually comes, there's an option. You can either buy this and the printer itself. Uh, but by itself or you can buy a combo now the printer itself uh, is i believe uh, now it's like 6.99 on the bamboo labs website and if you buy the combo it comes to about 949 dollars so together you save about i think 50 bucks otherwise it's it's 300 dollars uh, just for this AMS system if you need and of course the the PLA or these plastic uh, you know the rolls that come with it uh you know they're they're separate so about 25 25 bucks um, at a store like a micro center or something could be slightly higher slightly lower depending on the deal that is going on but anyways so just to uh, show you now this thing is heavy yep. so it's uh it's about uh, 30 pounds uh so this thing is kind of heavy uh it's 30 pounds without this ams system i'm assuming uh because you know one it becomes very difficult to carry this uh all together um and uh, so you this this the good thing is this thing does come apart so you can take it off and put it to the side and just carry the box now one thing i just want to remind everyone make sure you keep the original box that comes with this because honestly if you have to return this or there's an issue with it within 30 days or anything like that happens and you have to send this back to bamboo labs one because there's really no store for bamboo you have to use it online so in order to send it back you have to put it in the original box or even if like you're returning it to the store they're actually quite fussy about the original box that this thing came out come out with that is a huge box that this thing comes with so make sure you save it somewhere um keep the box uh because you that will come in handy now in terms of build quality it's really well built um you know it's 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 metal it's it comes with this glass door uh comes with the comes with the pla this is the hot plate that it comes with uh so as you can see we tried to print something on it earlier now uh, it's just the test residue there uh but as you can see there is and let me see if i can pull a light in there uh, so it comes with, uh, you see that that's the extruder, that's where it starts printing, scans. Um, this comes with the leveling bed, which I actually like. 
uh, which is something that the other printers, uh, usually a lot of people complain about trying to balance uh, this bed when it's printing. Uh, so that's that's really good. So this, it does come with, with all of that. Uh, again, this is, uh, again, this is the AMS system. It gets, uh, it's easy to connect be between the two. It's actually a very easy startup uh, process. Uh, the first time I did it, it was, you know, it, it was a little complicated, a little bit overwhelmed looking at the, the, the box itself and just some of the screws that need to be taken out. Uh, but it comes with a wrench, a uh, small wrench uh, that we can use to pull out all the screws so it's ready to print. Uh, and honestly, once it's all ready, you just log into the Bamboo Lab software and you hit print and this thing will print. Uh, and just to give you some some ideas of things that we printed, uh, if you look around here, these are all these were all printed by my my 11 year old daughter. Uh, so she's really enjoys it. Uh, the quality is insane. I have to say the print quality, you know, it, 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 it's incredible. Uh, this is one actually one of my favorite things that it printed and it's like a test print out there but it comes in about two three different pieces but when you put it together uh it's incredible that the precision uh and the design and just the quality is just incredible um and i love it how it prints it where it's actually bouncing so again uh just going back uh, to the printer itself the quality has been incredible now this thing uh, again, uh, there's a few things that need to be put together uh, once you have it. Uh, but as I showed you, uh, let me see if what I'll do is I'll take off the system uh, and then show you uh, kind of like what the inside looks like. Um, so I've put the AMS system on the side and this is basically, as you can see, just connected with the wires. So nothing has been taken out. I can still run it. It'll still pull all the PLAs. Uh, whichever PLA I want from there goes into the system. Take off this glass door again. Very well, the quality has is incredible. Uh, this is a very sophisticated piece of hardware. Uh, again, there's some pros and cons to it, uh, which I will discuss in my next video. But again, uh, not not my favorite, not my favorite 3D printer from Bamboo Labs. But again, uh, it is it is very well built. Does a great job. There are some there are some kinks in it, uh, but overall, so if you take it, take out the glass and you look in, uh, kind of comes with the extruder and it's basically you pull it out and you'll see it inside there. Uh, this is where usually when you pull it, let's see, put this back. So what happens is when you switch this on, it goes, it pulls the PLF from there. You can see it all the way into the pipes. Uh, go back there, come up in here, pulls in there, and then it goes straight into the extruder. So quite a transparent process. If things get stuck here, it's easy to take out. Uh, obviously the problem happens is when it's getting stuck in there, then you run into some issues trying to dismantle it. And as I've shown in my other videos, how to take it out and put it back together. Uh, but again, uh, overall, uh, overall, I'm happy with this. Uh, not super happy, but pretty happy with it. Uh, it does its job. It's just there's a lot of issues happening with the PLA getting stuck. Uh, but overall, it's a it's a decent hardware. It's a little expensive. It's in about cost me about nine hundred fifty dollars uh, in total with taxes and everything. It was north of thousand dollars, and you have to get a warranty because honestly, these machines are quite. You can't just take it to the regular store. No one will fix it. Uh, you'd have to go to Bamboo Labs, which is online. And, and you have to wait and back and forth and trying to figure all things out and there's no real help desk it's all usually online forums or youtube videos out there um so anyways hope you hope you enjoyed uh, my video please like and subscribe um again uh this is the bamboo lab p1s 3d printer uh, so thank you so much for watching